my first touch with the Richmond and politics, uh, I didn't know where to get a job. I was sitting on the couch, and Betty gives me a call and says, Bayard, can you go help put up posters for Gordon Lau, my boss? I said, sure, I can put up posters, I can climb, climb the ladders. Little did I know that would lead me to Chinese for Affirmative Action, Voters Education, Chinese American Democratic Club. And so our family has lived in the Richmond on 36 for 38 years. Then I bumped into Eric Marr when I was doing my work at the Human Rights Commission. He came in as an intern from New College. And it's there we, I embraced his interest in finding about civil rights, equality for all San Franciscans, is what the job I did for the city. And then I bumped into Eric in another important time. It was during the crush in the mid-90s about school placement. It was about sending kids clear across town and the, the dilemma, how do you get quality schools in every neighborhood? And there didn't seem to be enough slots for our children on the west side, on, in the sunset, in the Richmond. We, with the Chinese American Democratic Club, activated Larry Yi and you helped to work with the parents. I joined the team, we joined CADC to help these parents go in and talk with the school district and come up with some solutions. We asked at that time Eddie Chin and Eric Marr to take the lead on coming up with a solution for our parents. And with the strength and courage, we came up with an idea to open up Soda Academy, a new high school in the midtown of San Francisco. And by galvanizing our community efforts, political efforts and community for these parents and children, we did open up Soda Academy, which was open up for all kids in San Francisco instead of sending them clear across town. It was an option, and it's open today and it's been serving lots of kids and parents. And the third item, I've had the privilege of working on small minority women local business programs over, I have to say, 29 years. And in that time, Eric, well, he came to the Board of Supervisors, stood up strong to support its extension, changes, modification, improvements. And even in the face of uh, the uh, 209 challenge, we have been able to maintain a local small business program to uh, reach out to local minority women and other businesses to grow small businesses here in San Francisco. So uh, with the last comment I'd like to share, I strongly support Eric Mark. He's highly qualified, and I have to say, uh, we need to get Eric Marr back to the board, not just for the Richmond District, but for the whole city. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Eric, and please, please win. Let's go. Yay!